I'm Scott from Fifth Wheelers Australia and I'd like to show you the differences in a high profile unit or a high end fifth wheeler. The first thing you'll notice about it is the height. It's four metres high to the top of the air conditioner. This unit is 39 foot long and it weighs pretty close to six tonne. Most of the better fifth wheelers will be on air brakes and they'll weigh between four and a half and six tonne. I'll take you around and we'll start at the back and we'll have a look at some of the differences. The better built fifth wheelers will have a fiberglass rear tail. It's moulded. There's recessed LED tail lights. You'll always have a ladder. Um, this particular model has got uh, hair frameless windows. They're double pane. Um, much better for insulation, they're tinted, the bottom part louvers out. Uh, as we come around the side, it's high gloss gel coat, so it's a 50 mil thick wall, typical on nearly all fifth wheelers, whether they be mid profile or high profile. It's 50 mil thick uh, polystyrene and on the outer it has a gel coat to give it that high gloss uh, look. Uh, as we come along, the larger fifth wheelers, the heavier range, are always on 16 inch wheels. These particular ones are 8 stud and they're 9 16 thickness. They're a Chevy stud pattern and they're a large uh, 235 tyre to 10 ply. As we come along, um, we can see the uh, area here where the sullage hose uh, uh, wastes uh, black and grey tanks. This here is a uh, self-leveling leg, generally found on the better trailers. And for 2012, they've double stacked the chassis. It has a 12 inch chassis that runs about this height. And then below it, they've given a 10 inch chassis underneath. It's an I-beam. And that gives a much larger pass-through storage area. As we come along here, the, the large pass-through storage area is 850 mil high and that's achieved by that double stacked chassis. Normally the chassis would be here and it would give you about a 650 mil, typically found in a mid profile unit. Um, this, is, this area is known as a docking station. It'll have your black and your grey valves for dumping your tank. It'll have the fill for your water tank. It's got a shower, hot and cold satellite and cable TV hookup. It has a light and we've put some uh, 240 volt inlets. As we move along the side of the trailer, we can see this uh, leveling system. It's a six point front, front to back, left to right. Um, battery operated, 12 volt, runs a hydraulic pump that uh, lifts each corner of the trailer. It's available in a four leg system and a six leg system. The next thing I'd like to touch on is the height of this transition area. Um, just referring to my notes, this one is 1600 mil high. Very important if you're trying to get this trailer onto the back of the new 2012 Chev or Ford. The back on the new, whether it be single rear drive or the dual rear wheels, will be about this high. So you're going to need all of the 1600 mil to give it. Um, clearance between there and the top of the tub. The other interesting point with the front of the trailers is the kingpin position. From this point back to the transition area wall here is 1900 millimetres. Um, if you're trying to get the weight in front or at least on your rear axle of your tow vehicle and you you want to articulate and spin the back corner of the vehicle around, you need a good length trailer. This is typical of a high end unit or a high profile trailer. The other thing we could look at here is this curved or radius corner front nose cone. If you want to tow a trailer with a six bed or a short, what they call a short bed truck, um, if you do a full 90 degree turn, this corner would, would touch the, the back window of the cabin of the truck. Having this radius corner enables the vehicle to turn the full 90 degree and not, not crash into the cabin. It's a great uh, new concept. 
as we come around the side of the trailer and uh, come down, we, we have a big, large door, four steps to go in. The door is 700 mil wide, which enables you to put a full-size washing machine in or out, or if some of the furniture needs to be changed, uh, that can be done as well. We might pause it there and we'll head inside and have a look. Welcome inside and the first thing you'll notice with this style of unit is the height of the slide out. I've been selling fifth wheelers for 11 years in Australia and I've seen different heights from, from about my shoulder height right up to here. I think this one is 6 foot 4. Uh, when, you, when you get up from the chair and stand up, I can stand up easily and not hit my head. So that's one thing. All these heights are adding to the weight of the trailer and um, it's a consideration. But if you're willing and you want to pull a trailer of this weight, you'll always get something with a, with a tall slide out. Um, also, the height of the ceiling, it's six foot seven down the back. I can't even touch the roof. As I go around, some of the other features in the better quality trailers is the solid surface bench top. And then, Plenty of appliances can be added, central vac, um, big screen televisions, never ending. You dream it up, we'll put it in. As we go up to the bedroom area, um, the height in here is 6 foot 5. That's pretty big for a bedroom area. The, the height here in the slide out of the bed slide is 1600 mil and you're able to sit up in bed and read. This unit's got a queen bed in it but it does have provision for a king bed. You would lose one of the bedside tables. It's a flat floor in a standard height trailer or a mid profile trailer. There's quite often a step. You'll come up into the bathroom area and then just as you go into the bedroom area you'll step up again. But in a full height or a full profile trailer, it's flat all the way through. And in this one, it's six foot five. Um, generally, you'll have provision for a full size domestic washing machine. And this is a five kilo. It could be a washer dryer, but um, it'll either be here or it'll be in the front corner. In a lot of the trailers we do, the washing machine goes in this area here, um, just near the walk-in robe. Um, so that's... They're the main differences between medium and full-size trailers. Um, if you'd like more information or you want to visit and view one of them, give us a call, Fifth Wheelers Australia at Ballarat, and thanks for the tour.